with alcohol free yeah. beer do you do you is it is it is it helping you yeah so so one thing that i found when i quit smoking years ago is it, i really struggled with quitting smoking as well it, it took me a couple of years and probably a few failed attempts um but i found that i used nicotine patches to quit smoking right. and i found that nicotine patches uh were were really good at killing the addiction so the anxiety i talked about that you used to get when you when you want a cigarette that you'd mistake for life anxiety, but it wasn't. It was, it was, you know, sort of addiction anxiety. It would get rid of that. But I even went through a period, and this is how much I was fucking addicted to cigarettes. I'd have patches on, I'd still smoke. <laughs> there was one occasion I was smoking 15 cigarettes a day, um, yeah. wore patches, carried on smoking, ditched the patches, and then was up to 25 a day. No way. Because I just had this increased amount of like, nicotine in my system. Um, so I found that, that, that where I'm going with this is I found the patches killed the the physical addiction yeah but there was still a habit that's what i was about to say the habit of actually smoking yeah, yeah. so the association with certain behaviors so whether it was like eating getting up in the morning sex whatever you do certain things and you'd have a cigarette so the habit was quite hard to break as well but, but when i got to a point where i'd really decided that enough was enough with smoking used the patches again to kill the, the, the physical addiction yeah. Um, and then I just had to sort out the habit. Um, and in answer to the question, with the alcohol-free beer, I found that's been really helpful because I can still go out on the piss, go to a pub with my mates, and I'll just get an alcohol-free beer. But it's pretty good now. Most places will serve, and you've got like... It tastes beer. like fucking arsehole. They don't, mate. Oh, mate. They don't. No, you say that, but I think beer doesn't taste great. Yeah. So I don't so, mind a beer, but... So the interesting thing with alcohol... The interesting thing with alcohol-free beer is that because there's no alcohol in it, um, when I drink it now, because previously when I was drinking alcohol, I couldn't taste the alcohol because I was so used to having it, the alcohol-free beer that I drink now tastes the same as how I remember beer used to taste when I was drinking it often. Ah, right, okay. So I think you might have even mentioned this the other day. It's like the equivalent of if you drink full sugar Coca-Cola. Yeah, that's what I said, yeah. 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 And then you go to diet. diet. You can never switch back. Yeah, like you, it takes a while to get used to it, but once you do, it tastes as good as you remember full yeah, sugar. Maybe. And then when you taste sugar, you're like, fuck, it's so overbearing. It's so bad. Yeah. And that's what it's now like with alcohol. So I, um, yeah, I, I, st- I, st- I, I, not again, not frequently, but if I ever do fancy because of the habit, fancy a beer, I'll just go and get alcohol free beer. 